Welcome back. Wildlife Encounters is a pretty cool organization. They're based in Gretna, but they educate students nationwide about animals and nature. They also rescue, rehab, and adopt animals. They've been doing it for 30 years. A long time. We've got Kip Smith here. Kip Smith Jr. Yeah. Nice to see you. And you got pickles. You see you pickles. Yes, this is Pickles. He's a blue and gold macaw. Uh huh. Tell <laughs> us more about him. I'll find these guys in the tropical rainforest, mm -hmm. and he can talk. We can see him give him talk for you. Do you want to say hello? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so any word that he hears that he likes, he will mimic it back right, to do us. Do that again. Oh, we can try. He has to get done eating his almond. Oh, uh, he won't, he won't eat first. with his mouth open. Right. Yeah. Oh, he's well behaved. Pretty, yes, very well, very good manners. Uh -huh. yes. So uh, how old is this guy? This guy, he's 12 years old mm -hmm. now, I believe. They, they live for a long yeah, time. Yeah, he lived to be like 60 to 70 years old. Wow. An extremely yeah. long lifespan. How did you come to bring him into Wildlife Encounters? He actually came story? from World Bird Sanctuary. Uh, we have three birds from World Bird Sanctuary. Uh, the owl we brought before, mm -hmm. and his friend that he lives with, Cyrano the Greenwing. Macaw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Has he done eating yet? Can uh, he talk some more? Yeah, he can talk some more. We can try. Do you want to say, he says, do you want to say pickles? Do you want to say arriba? Uh -uh. Nope, he just said hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes he listens to you, sometimes he doesn't. He gets a like treat a, anyways. Like a person. So yes, yeah. He's yeah. a one trick pony. He trains us more than we train him. <laughs> or <laughs> is he a one trick pony? Do you have anything uh, he else? He does. He can do a else? couple of things. Oh, Actually, we'll try this one too. Uh, once he's done eating here, we can try this. Here, we'll see if we can even do it now. Do you want to show him your wings? <laughs> so oh, you can pretty. spread out those Beautiful wings. Beautiful bird. Do you want to play dead? Bang. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try so that. We'll see once we recycle. We do this in schools. We get uh, talk to kids about rainforest destruction, how uh, recycling helps our rainforest and our planet. So we actually see. Do you want to recycle? A water bottle. Yeah, we actually show he can recycle. Do you want to recycle? <laughs> do you want to recycle? <laughs> Ray, be quiet. I'm doing it. Oh, we'll see if we will. Oh, he's Is backing he up there. Well, he's do you want to recycle, bud? That's an unfamiliar <laughs> yeah, he's not going to. scene. Pickles. We'll try this one. Bright lights. We'll see if we can get him to play. Bang. Oh, there we go. That's He'll great. play dead for us. <laughs> and oh my if you look at his feet, he's just hanging on. What uh, a he hoop. can hang on because he has zygodactyl feet. So they have two toes in front, two toes in back. Oh. So can just grab so I've heard uh, the, the force on their beaks is incredible. Yeah. Like, you don't want to get your fingers near there if they're no, going after something. Not right? at all. Uh, they can crack open the strongest nuts in the world Brazil nuts, almonds, macadamia nuts. They crack them open in one bite. So that beak wow. is really, really powerful. I bet when he goes into school, <laughs> students just. Kids love them. And they can relate with him because they watch like movies like Rio and we see a lot of bird information yeah. going on now. So yeah, they, they actually they love seeing love these pickles. animals. They love pickles. Thank you for bringing... Oh, yeah. Is it hard to take care of a big bird like this? Um, I mean, how much there's a lot of work. Like some people, you see these as pets a lot. Uh, they have a really long lifespan, so you have to play a role in that. You know, 70 years. Uh, they can be really messy. They're extremely loud. You can hear these guys yeah. from like a mile away. Mm -hmm. It's a really, really loud animal. So it's sometimes not the best pet. Yeah, well, yeah. which is good information, <laughs> and that's how sometimes these animals end up in your care. They do, Because yep. people, yeah, yeah, they bring in something exotic, and they realize they're in over their head. Yes, they're very yeah. smart, so it, they require attention. They do, know. yeah. They are highly, highly intelligent animals. They have the average intelligence of about a two to three year old human being. So mm -hmm. it's oh, wow. it, very, very smart animals. All All right. Right. So meet that's pickles. Oh, yeah. Next oh, God. Put this guy animal. back. Oh, I'm a little one. reluctant, Kip, because uh, <laughs> this is a Scott. <laughs> yes. yes. yeah. uh, he's really good. Um, you just have to, he, as long as he doesn't feel threatened, you're totally safe with skunks. Okay. Uh, they don't try to hurt us people. Yeah. But they do their self-defense mechanism. They spray. Right. Uh, so if they get scared, if you feel threatened at all, they'll shoot out a spray, and it can shoot uh -huh. about ten. Oh! <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the last time you're coming on the show. <laughs> this is the last time. <laughs> 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 Get this guy out of here. Security. He got a water bottle. Get a little water bottle. He's squirting at me. <laughs> That's the last time. Escort these people out of the building, please. Kayla That's was good. in on it. So. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, he's you're lucky. So, have you Tell us about this skunk. This skunk guy. <laughs> They can they can spray that that's their defense. Uh, they will spray like 10, 12 feet. So in the wild, if you see these, they they don't want to spray us people. Uh, uh -huh. They'll try to scare you. They stomp on their front feet. Yeah. They try to intimidate you first. But then if they have to, as a last resort, they'll spray but this you. Guy and you can so, pet him. He looks so yeah. innocent. Though. You can hold him if you, you want remove, to. Have you removed his? He his was yeah. He, gone. he was uh, 
someone's pet, Maybe? so uh -huh. he but had his removed, so he can't spray. Look at his claws. Let's take wow, a second on these. Claws. They have huge claws. Uh, he uses yeah. those to dig, so they dig all the time. Uh -huh. He's brown, though. He's he is. Like yeah, usually you see a, a black to bright white. They come in all different colors. We see white skunks. Uh, yeah. There'll be that, that cinnamon color. And if you smell him, he still smells. Even yeah. though he's he descented, does. they still sink. I, I, I noticed a slight odor. <laughs> you can, yes. <laughs> She's holding him right underneath her armpit. <laughs> <laughs> so later today, no, there we go. Push your arm down. And these, it's okay. these, you know, they're thought of as being a pest. They're actually pretty important. Yeah. Uh, they clean up our roadways. They eat old, decomposing other animals. Yeah. So they're eating mm -hmm. insects, uh, any other dead animals. So they're actually cleaning up our forested areas and our roads. I notice he's smelling right now. They have an extremely good sense of smell. They have pretty poor eyesight. Uh, mm -hmm. So they use that sense of smell to find their food. And this was a pet, you yes. said. Mm -hmm. So not a good idea again. I Typically, no. They, they, some people, you know, may, but it's for the average person, no, probably not a good pet. Okay. Uh, they're really intelligent animals. It's just they, they still smell. You, there's no way you can ever get that odor out. Even mm -hmm. if he had a bath yesterday and they, they, right. they always smell. He always Aww, smells. Yeah. Well, he's a sweet but they're he's a great, super sweet, nice great, animals. Great animal. Thank you for All having right, now some we've fun. Got the baby. Yes. We got the baby over there. Okay, so here is the icing on the cake. We've got the kangaroo coming in. Hi, Stacy. Uh, <laughs> Kip Senior moving in and out of the shot. <laughs> and this is who? Kip? This is Bentley. I actually don't grab his bottle. We can feed him. Uh, this is Bentley. He's a red kangaroo. Uh -huh. He was actually born at a zoo in Wisconsin. Uh, the younger siblings kicked him out of the pouch, so we're just watching oh, him. Wow. Is that they do that? It does happen. Uh, the mothers will kick just him out, or him. the babies, yet, or the other siblings will try to move in the pouch. And yeah. if he's not ready to come out, then he has to get kicked out. Usually, well, the, 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 the mom override the, what the kids say. Uh, say it's kind of hard. Usually, with kangaroos, they have so many babies. They have three babies at the same time. So you see uh, one adult, a larger one like this guy, uh, a medium one that's still nursing, and then they'll be pregnant. So they're constantly going mm -hmm. through babies. How big you can, they, can feed them if you want oh, to. Yeah, How big to. can they get before they have to get oh, out of the, the Usually house. you see like eight, nine months. And this guy's nine months right so he's now. Nine months. So this so is he about would, the age where yep, they start getting He out would now be out of the pouch. But he's, he's in an artificial pouch. He likes it. Yeah. So we still keep him in there. <laughs> he loves to eat. Right? Oh, yes. And he'll, he's going to get huge. These are the largest marsupials in the world. He'll get six, seven feet tall. He'll weigh 200 pounds. Uh, mm -hmm. His dad is just ginormous. Really? Where's his dad at? He's in... Uh, Minnesota. And Minnesota. will he go back? Will this little guy yep. go back? Yeah, he'll go back there. Him? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he'll go back to the troop. A temporary. Just kind of like a really? yep, babysitting job right now. <laughs> uh, before him, we had two other wallabies we were watching, and then they went back, and then Aww. he got kicked out. So then we took care of him, and then he'll probably go back in about mm -hmm. a year or so. We, we talked about older. kangaroos and boxing. You know, we see those videos, and we've seen people box. Yeah, I mean, are, can they box? Is they that, can. Yeah. yeah, he can't. He's too young. Yeah, sure. But when they get older, yeah, they they kick each other, they box, they punch. Yeah, they're actually they can be somewhat vicious. Well, yeah, I've seen some of those videos online. Take a little break. Let's take a breather, baby. No, you want more? <laughs> Should I yeah, burp he, him? It, Is he okay? Uh, he, he, once he's done eating, we'll burp him. Do you uh, really will. Oh, yeah, you yeah. Really you just kind of just pat his back a little bit. He loves it. He's <laughs> it. Do you guys feed these animals at Wildlife Encounters? Yes. Or what? <laughs> How long has it been since this guy had a meal? <laughs> he's young, so he'll uh -huh. eat, you know, he'll, he'll eat every four hours. And before that, it was like every two hours. So you have to uh -huh. wake up at night and feed them when they're young. Man, just like so, a little baby. Yeah, just yep, basically like a human being. Really no different. How do they protect themselves in the wild, Kip? Uh, they're fast. These guys can hop. Well, they don't run. They hop about, you know, 30 miles per hour. Wow. And those feet, if you look at his foot. Yeah. Uh, he has just a ginormous foot. They're called yeah. macropods, which means large foot. So they kick each other. So if a big male fighting for territory, they grab mm -hmm. on, That's they kick tail. each other, and they try to defend <laughs> themselves. He's very flexible. <laughs> Do they have it like their spinal yeah. structure to be able to stay in this pouch looped around the way they here? They are, yeah. <laughs> this pouch is a lot more roomy than the mom's pouch would be. So he's got a lot more space here. But yeah, they dive in head first. They do a somersault, and they stick their head out. Yeah, so yeah they're extremely and they so interesting. Too. They get, they're so strong, right? Yeah. They, yep. on they use it as a tripod, or yeah, when they go to kick, he'll lean all the way back on that tail, uh -huh. and he kicks. So yeah, He's they precious. very, very strong animals. Um, I'll give you the bottle oh, yeah. back. Let's show our viewers where to find wildlife encounters. Oh, yeah. Because I know you're busy all year long in Gretna. <laughs> yeah, you can check um, us out, wildlifeencounters.org. We're yeah. on Facebook, Twitter, all that. Doing some great <laughs> stuff. What will, what will you do with this guy when he gets too big? Are you going to um, keep him? Or? We, no, we never know how long we'll have him. Oh, we'll probably have guys. him for about a year, and then he'll probably Did go he do back. Something? And he's wearing a diaper. Oh, my. Yes. I just saw inside <laughs> oh, the pouch. My. He's wearing a little diaper. <laughs> Let's show the diaper. Can oh, take him this pouch? Well, I don't know. It's just, it's just a darn cute. Kip Sr. said we could take him out. Look at this yeah, little diaper. <laughs> see the diaper? He's got a diaper you guys. on. You guys. He has a little diaper on. You guys. What he, else? Doesn't, he doesn't wear that there's all the time. There's just nothing right here. left to say. <laughs> just when he sits on Mary's Just when he sits on your guys' lap. Yep. Thank you, Kip. Oh, yeah. Kip. Thanks for having us, guys. Stacey, thank you both hey, for being thanks. here. We you. really appreciate yes, it. Yes, for the morning blend. Start their day with coffee from Look Paris Gourmet. I know. The official coffee of the morning blend. Uh, learn more online at Omaha Morning. Oh Online. my gosh, I don't want to give him up. Look at him. He's so
uh, sort of, in the United States. Yeah, we'll explore the subject with an Omaha doctor. She'll explain the benefits, the risks, and more when the morning blend continues.